In this video, I'll go over two common tasks in a spreadsheet. One is how to move a column, and the second one is how to sort by column. Hi, my name is Michael, and I make quick tips and tutorials on how to use LibreOffice Calc software. To begin, to show you how to move a column, I'll demonstrate using this sample spreadsheet I have. It's a simple table of information of different American presidents. Now let's try moving one column to another. I'll go ahead and maybe I'll swap column D and E. So first I'll try by selecting this column. Um, right click on the column D, choose cut. And then if I paste it by selecting column E, actually it's not what I want. It just replaced the column E with what I cut from column D. My intention was actually to swap the two, and so I would expect the data to remain and not having one column completely disappear. So let's undo that by clicking Edit and Undo Move. And undo once more to undo the cut. So now I have column D back. Now the one proper way to do it is when I choose Cut, and I'll try that again. When I select column E, instead of just pasting, I'll choose the option of insert columns before or insert columns after. So right now, I'll click on insert columns after. But what Calc did here was actually insert a brand new empty column. So that actually didn't paste any information in there yet. Now I can go to the new column F and then click paste. Now the birth state column is populated and then I can delete the original column D by right clicking and choose delete columns. So that's one way to move columns around. Now if you're trying to move one column to an empty column it's much easier you can save a few clicks. Another way is select the cells that I want. I'll try to move year serve down to column G which is an empty column. I'll go ahead and select my data. I'm just holding down the shift key and I left click to select it. Just scroll back up and I'll click and drag over. So as you can tell, if I move while still holding down the mouse, it has an outline of the column for me and then I can place it where I want it to go. So now you see Calc actually moved my selection over to where I wanted it to be, which is now in column G. So that's my quick demonstration on how to move a column. I'll go ahead and just undo what I demonstrated. Okay, now I'll show you how to sort by column. As you can tell right now, the table is just sorted by the order of when the presidents were elected or came into office. The way to sort is first we have to select the table or the data that we want to sort. I'll just have my selection first at cell B4. I'll scroll down to the end of the table. I'll hold down the shift key to select the range and then left click. The selection I made is from B4 to cell F50 and everything between. So normally to sort, we could just go to data and click one of these sort choices. I'll test it out by clicking sort descending. So right now you can see Calc sorted the first column that I selected, which is column B in a descending order, starting with number 46 and down to one. That's pretty handy and pretty fast when it comes to just sorting by the first column. What if you wanted to sort by a different column, a second one or a third or fourth? And we can do that by going to data and choose the first option, sort, and the sort wizard appears. And what happens here with the sort wizard is we have different options for sort key one, sort key two, etc. Sort key three, if you could tell, it's actually grayed out. So let me try by sorting by the president's name and I'll choose a ascending sort. Then in the case where the president has the same name and because there's not that many presidents, it's rare. But if in your data, there's repeated values or data in your column, you can then have Calc do a second sort where after it sorts by your first selected column here, it'll sort by the second column. And I'll demonstrate by choosing an option here. So maybe I'll choose order, but I'll pick descending. 
And then sort key three is if there's actually data that's repeated in both of these columns, then we can tell calc to sort by another key, so to speak, which is basically just use another column to sort by. But I'll leave it as undefined. So I don't really have to sort. I'll just hit OK. So now we have the name, which is sorted by alphabetical, which is their first name. And in a case where it's repeated, and this doesn't happen much, but it does for Grover Cleveland. He's actually the same guy, but he's on here twice because he served two separate terms. They're not actually back-to-back -back terms. Then for my second sort, I actually chose the order descending. So this is where we can see that has happened. Calc put 24 above 22 in the case of this repeated Grover Cleveland. So that's how we can use a sort wizard to fine tune how we want to sort our columns. And a quick way to undo it all, just go back to edit and undo. And if you ever make a mistake or you didn't like your sort, you can just keep undoing or just sort in a new way that's according to your preference. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or if there's something else you'd like to learn about LibreOffice Calc, feel free to put them in the comments below. Have a great day and as always, stay nifty.